Hallelujah. Hi, welcome in. December 12, the blessedness of believing. Then Jesus told him, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. John 20, verse 29. Many think that Thomas was exceptionally privileged because Christ manifested himself by allowing Thomas to touch his hands and his side. No wonder he could find no words but those of holy adoration. My Lord and my God. John 20 verse 28. Has there ever been higher expression of the overwhelming nearness and glory of God? And yet Christ said, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. True living faith gives a sense of Christ's nearness far deeper and more intimate than the joy that filled the heart of Thomas. Even after all these centuries, we may experience the presence and power of Christ on a far deeper level than Thomas did. To those who do not see, yet truly believe, Christ has promised that he will manifest himself and that he and the Father will come and dwell in them. We must never think of this as something beyond our reach. How can we attain this childlike faith? The answer is very simple. Where Jesus Christ is the one object of our desire and our confidence, he will manifest himself in divine power. He will make his holy promise a reality in our conscious experience. Pray for this kind of faith in his blessed word, in his divine power, and in his abiding presence. Christ will indeed manifest himself, abide with you, and dwell in your heart as his home. Thank you, Lord, that I have the privilege to believe and experience, although I have not seen.